Hello everyone, this is Mimi's Crafty Shop and I have another um, little one signature journal that I made up. Um, I thought this journal turned out absolutely just lovely. It's just so cute, I love it. I love the colors. Um, another one of my purple journals that I've been working on. Um, this right here is just a, somebody gifted this to me. Uh, Quite a few years ago and it's just looks like they took um, material and you know made ruffle out of it and sewed down the middle of it I did do try doing this with some material uh, a ribbon let me show it to you how it turned out uh, I was kind of surprised it turned out as good as it did so I made this up kind of using the same technique and um, I'm gonna do it on some more just regular material like this is and you know kind of ironing it down. I haven't ironed this one down yet, but I love this. I've really really used a lot of this in um, my crafts. So it's just so, so pretty when you do collages up and stuff. Anyway, uh, this little journal turned out so cute like I said. Um, this is a sorry ribbon on the as um, the ribbon closure. It is eight and a half by four and a half. There's 40 pages front and back. Um, this, I did use Prima Marketing, uh, Lavender Enchanted um, paper in here. And um, it has this, again, F Pop, I'm not for sure how you say her um, Etsy store name. Uh, and this is the kit that I used here, um, the Lavender or lavender peridot, I'm not for sure, travel note book. Um, anyway, this turned out, like I said, so cute, and it's got a little po uh, pocket up here. I have a bunch of cute things in here. This little book I made up, it is just darling. I love making these little books up. These are so much fun, these little journal books. Love them. And these little tags, these are so cute. These are just some stuff that I had that I, used in there and another little piece of paper I did up and kind of put some stamping on it. It's kind of small stuff and there in here it's got some more little tags in here and this beautiful lady on the front I just thought she was so pretty and she has a little purple in her hair and this yummy ribbon here that um, I mean lace that I got recently and just added a little applique on the front. And let's get started on the inside. Um, this is made out of the Mark Timber Marketing paper again. Um, I did put the washi tape on both sides of it to kind of stabilize it a little bit better and um, put some pockets on here. I made that and here's some ephemera that comes with it. And another little book um, I made up. I thought this turned out so cute. This actually is a paper bag and it's got a little pocket on the front. Isn't that cute? Someone had showed on YouTube how she took in, took these bags and glassing bags and printed on them. Well, she said she used the double-sided tape and put it through a printer and everything. Well, anyway. Of course, I did mine upside down, and she said that she did the same thing, so I ended up making this journal um, little pocket um, journal out of it. And also, um, it just was a lot harder, or didn't work that well to me, so I said I probably won't be doing it again, but anyway, <laughs> this one turned out okay, even though it was upside down, so that said, that's why I made the... Um, this out of it but this paper is really pretty and um, let's see it's I just stuck that inside there. there's a lot of writing paper in there and there's a little I made a little pocket here on the side and just put some more paper more ephemera pictures in here but I thought that turned out so cute for um, something that was messed up I ended up making something out of it so hopefully uh, you can do that with the, some of the stuff that you have that you think is not going to work. You can end up making something out of it. This beautiful paper here, I love it. It's just got the pretty greens and the purple tones on there. And it's a little pocket here. And I got this beautiful card here. I love this postcard. Isn't that darling? 
and this paper right here is so cute. I just put a, like a little index card in there to make it where you can write on it. I love that. And it says here, it says, All things bright and beautiful, all creatures great and small, all things wise and wonderful, the Lord God made them all. And that little beautiful fawn deer. Oh, so pretty. With the little spots on it. And I made another little writing journal. A little pocket notebook here. And I'm not going to try to stick that back in there. It takes forever. This is a little pocket here. I made this up. Did some collaging on this page here. This beautiful lady. And then did some more collaging down here. Um, made this pocket. This has actually got... I might have two pockets here. I'm not for sure. No, that's not a pocket. Um, but this up here is. And this is just a little one of those little bitty small... Um, manila envelopes and I did some stamping on it and just have some ephemera inside. I thought that turned out so cute. Love that. This is another little ephemera up here in this beautiful paper I got from Tuesday morning. I just think it's so pretty. More stamping, collaging, some more writing paper. Um, these are some little cards that I took and put some writing paper on the back. And I love the colors because they have the purple tones in there. I just thought these were such pretty cards. I made up another little um, collage uh, pocket here. This is actually, isn't that pretty? A tea bag. And I've been using a lot of my tea bags lately. and use it in my craft so I said that on there and on here it says I noticed a lot of my these tea bags especially these traditional medicinal tea bags um, they have little sayings on the, the little string the little thing that you put on the outside of your teacup and it says one touch of nature makes the whole world kin William Shakespeare so I thought these were really neat I said I'm gonna start saving those because that's just so cute and you had you know it's got little sayings on there that you don't even have to do so this little collage turned out pretty and i love this light little girl on there isn't she darling she's got little purple flowers in her head <laughs> and here is another one of my little manila pocket folders uh, file folders that i've been making and i thought this one turned out so pretty i made up this little picture of this lady it's more little ephemera here it just holds so many because you kind of do a three-tier pocket um, on it, or what I, that's what I do. And um, got more little ephemera up here, this little postcard that's so pretty. I love that. And it's just so pretty. I just think those turned out so cute. Here's another little pocket here. More ephemera. It says, This Blessed Life. And I sewed on there and says sunshine. This might be a pocket. No, it's not. Sometimes I make pockets up here and sometimes I don't. Sometimes I end up gluing them down. So I never know. Oh, that one is one. Okay. I actually made one there. And this turned out really pretty. I love the way this turned out. This beautiful girl. She's just so pretty with her little flowers. And I used a doily and some book paper, and this is actually some, oh gosh, I can't think of the name. What is this stuff here? Oh, burlap, burlap, and then cheesecloth, and then some little shredded up, um, you know, fabric that you take and, you know, make little strips out of it, so that turned out, I thought that turned out so cute. And here's another one of those cards. This is a different one, and I made it into a little writing space on the back and this is my little charms here that um, I put on the signature this one actually sewn in so not removable made this up this little pocket here it's such a pretty postcard I just love that and then that picture of that little teapot and did more I've been doing, <clears throat> using a lot more of this cheesecloth behind my collages. Um, I think it just makes them kind of pop and turn out really pretty. I made up another little collage over here. It is in stamping. 
more writing paper. Beautiful little girl there. Beautiful stamp. Love that stamp. I've been stamp crazy lately. It's more of that little collagen on my stamping that I've been doing. And back here, this is some paper that I've recently purchased from a lady, um, CJ Christopher. She does these eight and a half by 11 um, papers up. And let me get one out and show it to you. They are so pretty. I just have to brag on her. Aren't these gorgeous? I don't know how she does it with coffee. I know that. But how she gets all this um, intricate little detail on her papers I, I'm, I don't know if that's lace she's using or what. I'm, I haven't asked her, um, but I did get some from her, and she's on a lot, a lot of the Facebook sites that we use, and she was going to Africa, so she was, I guess she does missionary work over there, and I purchased some from her, but if y'all get a chance to, it's, they're gorgeous. This is a little card I made up, um, the little oval card I had. I put some feathers on there. And this this is from the lavender um, kit that it's actually chipboard that you can purchase. And I just kind of made it up and says uh, this book belongs to on the back. I thought that turned out pretty. Okay, well, this will be for sale in my Etsy store. So um, if anybody's interested, this is so cute. And it's a nice little journal for somebody that just wants something small or, um, you know, just as a gift for somebody. So, anyway, thank y'all so much for watching. I do appreciate it. And y'all have a blessed day.